Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds. Because without you by my side, I would be stuck here on the ground. You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me. I won't be stumbling in the dark. Your eyes are shining like the stars. Hey, you guys, welcome to another vlog. We are currently in Louisiana, so I should have another vlog up. I haven't edited it yet, so once I look at the footage, hopefully it'll go up. By the way, I washed my hair because it's so humid and we were traveling all day. It was like a four and a half hour drive. We came from Texas down, we went stopped by Iowa, Louisiana. I have to edit that vlog. We just stayed there overnight. Um, to kind of break up the trip to here where we are now which is Mandeville, Louisiana and we stopped here because it is near New Orleans we have to make our way through New Orleans so we figured might as well kind of explore a little bit while we're here plus it's Easter weekend so we are in Mandeville right now and this is called Fountain Blue State Park as you guys probably saw by those beginning clips it is a little bit tight I'm not gonna lie like the pathways especially they're you know a little bit tighter they're not the spots are not too too close together like you get a pretty decent amount of space in between but for like a state campground um, it is a little bit tight but I guess it just depends where everybody's used to and each site does have you know like the concrete pad water and electric the picnic table the grill the fire pit all that stuff but coming in here it seems like a pretty decent campground we haven't really explored much at all we just drove in and parked and my husband wants to order some pizza because it's Friday and I feel like instead of we just got here and just unpacked everything um, have to still hang up the lamp here's the name of the state park where we are at and again this is Fountain Blue State Park in Mandeville Louisiana and it's Lake Pontchartrain Pontchartrain Lake Pontchartrain all right so we were previously in we we stayed about a month in Texas near the Houston area Leak City and then we have to cut through New Orleans to where we are going so we figured to stop right here in Mandeville but to break up the trip from Texas we stopped in Iowa right here near Lake Charles and then this is Lake Pontchartrain and there's actually a highway going through that we want to take when we go to New Orleans I think it's the longest lake highway uh, highway over the lake in the United States if I'm not mistaken I think it's like 20 something miles um, so yeah we hope to take that I think I'll do a separate vlog for New Orleans exploring New Orleans and then this vlog is just gonna kind of be um, exploring the Mandeville area all right guys we're gonna go grab something to eat I don't know why it looks so orange in the stream um, in 610 we found a restaurant called Rusty Pelican it sounds like a sandwich shop with it's pretty decent food so we're gonna go try it out we initially wanted to get pizza but I feel like that's so safe we want to try something a little bit different by the way here is our spot you guys kind of saw it from the window hi Sai I love you you ready let's go let's go eat some good food until you save me until you set me free my eyes were closed now I see clear as day, and I just wanted to say that you can take me high. Feels like I can fly. You can take me high. I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile. I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear I'm doing a little bit of walking after we just ate The restaurant was all the way down there Probably like five blocks down And then the street leads all the way to the lake such a cute little area like the restaurants all look like little homes just such a nice cozy like homey vibe like look at this restaurant here everything looks like a little house so cute and then there's a coffee shop called book in the bean that i want to go to which is a block down i'll try to check it out tomorrow and then you can see the lake from here so cute kona you want to try it get a coffee oh my gosh so cute it's getting kind of dark out. Saka, put your shoes on. Look at this house. Fancy schmancy. Look at this mansion. Louisiana vibes. I can't believe we're in Louisiana. So crazy. So this is Lake 
upon Chartrain. Upon Chartrain. I keep forgetting. That's the highway we're going to be taking oh, across the lake. You can kind of see cars going across it right now. That's so cool. No, we didn't go on it yet. Look at this. So cool. You see, it's kind of bright on the other side. Yeah, that's is that New Orleans. Yeah. I'm sure the sun sets over there. It probably looks incredible. But this is really nice. These houses are fancy schmancy. I don't even know if they're houses or like hotels or what. I love to stay here. So beautiful. And they have like some kind of pipes here and then I don't know what those stairs are for but they have stairs throughout and then I see a little gazebo up ahead that we're gonna walk over there to that gazebo. Some kind of lively restaurant here and they have a little swingy bench. It's getting dark so it's hard to see anything. Yeah you can swing here for a bit. They have a little playground here right by the gazebo and then whatever's behind there I'm not sure if it's a restaurant or what. Again I'm sorry you can't see anything but I'm sure during the daytime this is just as really nice. Get a cup of coffee at like the bookshop, the book coffee shop down there. Uh, the coffee that from here is it was actually a bar. And then they have a coffee section. I ordered, got some coffee beans as well. I'm gonna try them out. They're locally roasted, it says, so we'll try them out. But um, the coffee was, you know, wasn't the best. But they were. She was super sweet. And then they have this cute little gazebo. And you get to look at the highway with the cars driving by. Good morning, good morning. It is the next morning. I already made myself a latte and almost done with it. The coffee that I bought yesterday from Kona's, I think it's called Kona's. Let me see, it says it on the bag. The place is called Kona's, Kona's, but the house, the blend is Kona's House Roast. And it's actually from Flam Joe, right here, Flam Joe Coffee House or coffee company, which they have a website and they're local here to Mandeville. If you read the, the About Me on the Flamjo page, she talks about, or whoever wrote it, talks about how they came up with that name and it comes from the word flambeau, which ties into New Orleans and Mardi Gras and basically means, I think, flo throwing flames. And because coffee is roasted over flames, she thought it would be fitting to call the coffee shop Flam Joe, and I thought that was very clever actually. But that roast right there is very, very good. It's like a nice, light, um, airy, just like a great roast in my opinion. I really enjoyed it, so I wanna visit their coffee lab here. Uh, I woke up at four o'clock this morning and I was doing a lot of reading on the history of Mandeville and Fontainebleau State Park. I've never heard of Mandeville nor this park prior to coming here, but it has a lot of history, some of that history not so great as with a lot of history that took place but i think it's important to learn about history learn from history acknowledge what happened um, and just educate yourself so mandeville was founded by a man named bernard de something de mandeville hence the name mandeville and he basically subdivided it all and created it to be a um, kind of like a summer retreat. It became a summer retreat from the New Orleans heat for the wealthy wealthy families um, that lived in New Orleans kind of became like a summer escape of sorts. So the road we were on with those fancy schmancy houses that you guys that I talked about yesterday were actually I believe they were owned or like summer retreat houses for a lot of these wealthy families which they are beautiful but um, that's kind of a little bit of the history on that. I don't know if some of them were relocated, uh, especially after the hurricanes and the storms. Like some of the, one of the houses, I know that they placed behind a huge oak tree to protect it from all, um, the storms and stuff because this place took a hit. And then he also owned he owned thousands of acres here, including this park, which he named after Fontainebleau in Paris, the gardens in Paris. There's a lot of information you can find out online, um, which this bad history behind that was that it was a plantation farm and I believe they still have the sugar mill up on part of the park. This campground here is part of the entire park. So this campground is not just this campground, it's a part of the entire Fontainebleau State Park which has like a beach section and things like that. So you want to explore that. Uh, but I first want to hit visit Flam Joe Coffee Shop, their coffee lab, and buy some more beans because uh, I really enjoy them. And head on over to the state park and I'll show you guys that and kind of explore a little bit of that. But that was just like a little short rundown. You can find tons of information online. I spent like 
an hour or so just reading about everything there's a lot of history here behind it so i'll try to link a few articles um, that i found down below but you could just google like history of mandeville or uh fontainebleau state park history things like that and there's like a lot of interesting stuff to read but that's what's on the agenda for today it rained all day all day it rained all night so everything's kind of wet so i think i'm gonna have the kids probably wear no i don't think they're wearing rain boots you guys probably should wear rain boots though you take me high, high, high. feels like i can fly We were driving to the coffee shop and then we saw that they're having a little market. It's called the, uh, I forgot the name of it, but it's happening right across the street. So we figured we'll stop by and we saw a sign that said they sell flambeau coffee there. So such a cute area though. And the rain made it so refreshing. It's like, it feels like such fresh air. I want to go. So that's where we parked. And then the farmer's market's right here. I'm gonna go check it out. Hopefully they accept credit cards because we don't... Oh, you do? Okay. Buy some coffee beans. Trailhead, that's what it's called. The Trailhead Farmer's Market. Mandeville Trailhead Farmer's Market. Feels like I can fly. Josiah and Louise wanted to go up here. It's like a little tower of sorts, but you get a pretty good view of everything. It's a pretty nice um, farmer's market. They got food, crafts, pictures, artwork, jewelry. My husband's picking out something. I don't know if you can see him right there. There's a photographer there, and my daughter loves horses, so I'm trying to find a picture with horses to get her. But it's really nice. Everybody's like super friendly, just like great vibes all around. They have a station for the Mandeville Fire EMS, and they're giving out hats with I think badges or something the kids don't want to go grab theirs other than Viana. Viana didn't want to but I'm hearing some kind of jazz music across the street looks so sounds so lively jazz music is probably my all-time favorite that building looks beautiful look at you so cute you got one too Viana ended up getting one also oh it's a brewing company I think they're renovating though that's what it seems like well we're gonna walk back to uh, Lakeshore Drive because when we went yesterday it was too dark so kind of check it out during the daytime since we are here anyway and then head over to Fontainebleau State Park. Yeah, we're passing by this bed and breakfast and it's so cute. Look at that little back porch, it looks so cozy. It's outside. Love it. This whole area is so nice. And that's where we ate yesterday, the blue pelican or the rusty pelican. Yeah, so that's Flam Joe right here, Girard Street. I don't know if it's that building or where. It actually looks so cute. You can see it right there in the back. That's Flam Joe. Look how cozy that looks. So cozy. I wonder if my camera can see it. There you go, you can see a little bit better. This is right off of Girard Street. It's kind of like tucked away in the back. So cute. All right, so they have this really cute, I don't even know what this is, the restaurant or something, and then right across the street, they have the book and the bean. It has like, it's a bookstore and coffee shop. I thought it was so cute based off the photos. Right, this is Girard Street, and here you have Lakeshore Drive, and then the lake right there. You can see the highway a lot better now during the daytime, and along here you have a lot of the historical buildings, such as this one here. You can look online for all of the history behind the buildings as you go along, um, but I believe this is one of them. I mean, it looks really nice. Here's another historic Mandeville home. You can scan the QR code and it'll take you to all the details. This looks pretty. You can see the highway a lot better during the daytime. Let me zoom in a little bit. You can see cars getting on. We plan to go on it tomorrow after church and explore New Orleans for a bit, mainly the French Quarter. Maybe go to a coffee shop, grab some lunch. But this is the longest highway in the United States over water. Um, it used to be the longest in the world, so sorry for the zoom sounds. Um, but there was a bridge in somewhere in China that took the world record, I think, 
in 2011 from what I read online briefly. I could be mistaken, but that's what I remember. We made it to the beach side of the park. We're gonna check out the beach. They have a whole water park here. I'm definitely not dressed for this, but they have like a whole water park over there. Look at that. So fun. I feel like it's too cold for that though. And look at me in my like combat boots. Just decided to bring his remote control car. Uh, we're gonna go walk that pier right there. It's really nice here though. I wish I would have dressed better had I known that they, I mean I knew they had a beach. We just didn't plan to come here. You could see the highway in the back as well, but we're gonna go walk this uh, pier of sorts. Saika, grab your shoes. Here's the view from here. Everybody having fun. This says careful, there's alligators in the water. Like beware. You won't find me in here. <laughs> this is a really nice park. It's only 70 out, but it's high humidity and we definitely did not dress for it. I wish we had known it would have been so nice to like grab lunches, come here, and then have the kids play at the water park. So if you're gonna be coming here, they have water park, playground, that whole water section there. So really nice, but definitely not dressed for it and then we're hungry because it's already lunch time so no, we're gonna head back and make to something to eat so this is the remnants of the sugar mill the ruins everything that's left of it and they have the visitor center there you can read about it we're actually walking we went home and ate and changed well at least i changed um because when we were driving by they had people laying Easter eggs all out on the grass and we asked what was going on and they said to come back at 2 o'clock they're going to do like an Easter egg hunt so that's what we're going to do now but yeah here's the sugar mill I love these trees though they remind me a lot of snakes I don't know probably oh I'm not sure maybe oh you can see all the Easter eggs and the kids lined up it's going to start in a little bit but these trees are so nice they remind me of the trees in Hilton Head Island all right it is later in the day Basically dinner time and my husband marinated some chicken so we're going to do some uh, grilled chicken. But we ran out of uh, propane so he went with the kids to go get that. And I'm just going to peel some mashed potatoes now and then make some mashed potatoes. Maybe start a campfire, it has a little bit of wood. And this is the first campground in a while. Yeah, it's been a while since we've been at a campground where it was like like a state park very campy feel like we went when we first came to texas we stayed at i think two state parks one near dallas and then one when we just came into texas in texarkana and then after that we went um no and then we went to one more after that so i guess we stayed at three and then after that we went to uh, Bolivar Peninsula and then Leak City but because we stayed at Bolivar Peninsula for a whole month and then we stayed a whole month at Leak City it felt it's, it feels like it's been a long time so here you go outside you feel uh, you can smell people burning their campfires just like that like actual camp camping feel versus when we went to Leak City that wasn't very like that didn't feel like a campsite that was more so like a resort type feel very much so like a community if you will whereas here it's like legitimately um oh sam houston that's where we went yeah so before we went to Baltimore peninsula we went to sam houston i didn't vlog any of that i think i started got back into vlogging around Baltimore peninsula which i kind of regret now because i feel like um you forget like so many things like look at me it's only been a few months and i'm already like forgetting the order of things so it's always nice to have videos to look back on and remember i feel like that's just a great way to kind of remember certain things certain moments but anyway enough of that rant so that's what we're gonna do maybe do like a little campfire bonfire situation and just hang out and tomorrow we're gonna explore we were talking to somebody at the farmer's market and we're like is it new orleans or new orleans he's like well if you're local then you say new orleans so new orleans we're gonna go explore um and like I'll try to vlog that, but that'll probably be like a, a whole separate vlog because I feel like this one's already um, quite long. So far, we've really been enjoying Mandeville. I honestly have never heard of Mandeville or Fontainebleau State Park, so we came in with like no expectations. Haha! Hey. <laughs> that, that was good. Be quick. <laughs> Mama's the best player. Yes. On our team. <laughs> Oh, almost. All right, let's see. Eh? Oh, oh. 
Well, let me set up the chairs by the fire pit. Ah, good. Josiah, you are really good. All right, we got the air conditioner going, so it's gonna be a little bit noisy in here, but the mash, the potatoes are done, so I'm gonna go ahead and mash them. And the secret to very silky smooth mashed potatoes is handheld fro uh, handheld frother, <laughs> handheld mixer, and then a little, a little bit of butter, milk, some sour cream, blend it all up, mix it all up. And you get silky smooth mashed potatoes. Milk, sour cream. And then just a blend away until it's silky smooth. If you over blend it, like completely over blend it, then it can become kind of gummy. That's one thing that I noticed. Um, but just blend until it's like club free basically. Cleaned up dinner. My husband started a fire out there. I'm gonna grab some marshmallows, making a coffee for my husband and I to share. I haven't used this in a hot minute. Um, and then just enjoy the fire outdoors. Some family time, some nice family time for Easter weekend. I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter weekend. Happy Easter. Whenever you're watching this, it'll probably be obviously after Easter, but I hope you all had a wonderful Easter. Um, yeah, and I think I'm gonna finish the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed exploring Mandeville with us. We really enjoyed our stay here. And I hope to see you guys in our next vlog. You can take me high. Feels like I can fly. You can take me high Feels like I can fly